There we go. Yeah! Greg Ovens with Rocky Mountain Bushcraft. Greg Ovens, Rocky Mountain Bushcraft. Greg Ovens with Rocky Mountain Bushcraft. Hi, I'm Greg Ovens, and this is Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft. Ugh. All right, let's go ahead and cross this river, guys. I, I did bring some food today. I brought an MRE. Uh, I didn't know if I was going to be able to make fire where I was going. So I could just use an MRE. But now that I know that I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and get a fire going and get uh, shelter set up. And that way, tomorrow morning, I can catch some awesome fish. So this is going to be one whole video. So make sure you guys keep watching because this is going to be awesome. So while the fire is going, I'm gonna go ahead and prep my, my food, eat that, hunker down. I'm gonna start recording first thing early in the morning. It's getting late, I still got a lot of things to do, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get those done and I will get this all going. I got my food all done. I took my bag just with, just in case I find anything. And sure enough, I did. I found this skateboard. Um, looks like a little small skateboard at that. It's been duct taped. But we're gonna use this for my uh, mouse trap. So that's an awesome find. Wow. That's right, the mouse trap that Greg used uh, on how to catch a fish video. I'll leave that description down below. I think he caught a beautiful trout. Yep, got another one. All right, so as you guys can see here, so on part of this, Greg has his string attached to where you would put like the peanut butter or you know whatever you want to put on that little pad right there and it goes on that underneath the board onto this knot right here and then down from that knot comes the um, the hook and then on the other side of that it goes up here through another hole that is tied on to this bar right here which is what is spring loaded and it snaps back so it'll it'll snap back it'll snap back it'll snap back and it'll yank that line and hook a jerk fish. it and it'll in theory so we're gonna do that same concept because it works so well for him I'm gonna do it on mine as well and we're gonna go ahead and see if we can um, you know, catch a fish out here on a, on a stormy weather bad day using a lure. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. So as soon as I get a bite, tugs it. 
and voila, it just whips it. Whip it! And that lure actually came up and got my finger, so it oh, jolly. jolted that up. So that's definitely going to snag a fish if a fish bites on. I got time, it's clear to see. From up here, the world seems small. We can sit. I so wonder why I have this rock here. That's my counterbalance. So if I do catch a big fish, it's not just going to send my whole trap in the water and drag along with it. We meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. Just hit record too. What is that Oh yeah, look at that. Woo! There we go. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about right there. Look at that. Nice little sunfish. Not bad at all. Like I said, just a small little guy. We throw him back. Just a small little guy, and uh, we'll try to catch some more. So, bam! That's awesome. making but I'm gonna try to use this slingshot and catapult the weight and the bait out there in the water so I can catch a bigger fish so I made this little contraption right here we're gonna try it out and hopefully it works successfully shot the slingshot and got our weight and bait out there we are going to go ahead and we already snipped that off and uh, what we're going to do is just attach this to the trap and then set the trap up and hopefully catch a good fish <laughs> 
At least we know there's fish here. Ooh, we got off. Let's see what we got. snagged. Now it's off over there. Oh yeah. Woo, look at that. Nice. Oh yeah, nice little, uh, looks like a bluegill. Alright, so we finally got a fish on Greg oven strap. Um, like I said, this is just a small little sewer that I'm at. You can probably hear cars going by. Um, but yeah, there's actually fish in this little little creek slash little pond, maybe you can call it. There we go. <laughs> yeah, she's a small guy. I don't know if you guys can see that. There he is. Small little, looks like blue mouth, or uh, looks like a small little sunfish, maybe? I don't know. You guys tell me. Leave it, comment down below. What is this? You see, he's just a small little guy. So that's that. These baby fish that I caught are coming right here from this uh, little sewer. And, oh, I about the line. So this is just about as big as the water is right here. You can see it kind of dries up. It's actually right here at my golf site where I've been working. And I was curious if there was fish actually in here, but sure enough there was, so I know what I'll be doing on my lunch break from tomorrow. That's gonna do it for me guys. Definitely drop down a comment down below. Let me know which one you guys like better, the rat trap or Craig Oven's original idea, which is the mouse trap. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. All right, I'm all done with this mouse trap, and I think I want to send it to you, Zach. So if you're up for the challenge, I want to send you Greg's trap and see what you can catch with it. So go along.